Hello, this is a, this is a picture of a star, a star with an armed condor in front of it. That's a very traditional elite picture, isn't it? Uh, the star is a, uh, I think it's an O, it's a, it's a huge blue-white star. This is super hot. So I, I spent quite a bit of time doing the, uh, the swirling masses of different coloured gas on the surface of the star uh, before I put, put the anaconda in front. And the anaconda was sort of a kind of greenish gunmetal sort of colour. So I did the, all of the tones on it first. Uh, and then, and then I, I got a pencil crayon and did the the lines, the plates of the of the surface of the of the condor afterwards. Anyway, yeah, kind of a good ship. I have got one. I don't fly it a lot. It's not, it's not my favourite. It's huge. They're huge, and they've got a massive jump range, which is pretty much why this one was used. Because this is a, a photograph from Distant World Two. You can get a good eight, 84, 84 light years on a condor. So uh, it's it's just the biggest jump range you can get. On, on a ship so it's used by explorers quite a bit and you've you've got tons of modules in there as well so uh so you so you can pretty much take everything i i went exploring in a cutter and, and it is just lovely to have the opportunity to put everything you want in there i've never really explored in my condo it's not set up for exploration really uh, it's a multi-role ship really it only really excels in exploration though i think uh, although you have got class 4 weaponry on it and the good thing about using a conda in a combat role is that it shows damage it shows the scratches of the weapons fire it's one of the i think i don't know whether other ships have but i think as for, in my vague recollection it's the only it's the only ship that has that visual damage on it when you're in a fight you see you, you see where they're danger <laughs> anyway so yeah uh, this this ship went on distant world 2 and uh, Distant World 2 was massive, like 12,000 people, more, more people than that. Uh, it was a couple of years back, started in January, and they, much of the year, I think, really, it took. They went all the way across the galaxy, so up to Sagittarius A star, and all the way out the other side to Beaver Point, and right round and back again. And, and one of the things it included was a community goal, so they, they constructed a starport, at Sagittarius A as part of that. They didn't, obviously. It was created as part of the Community Goal reward. So uh, Explorers Anchorage, that is. And it was it was incredible. It was part of the Galactic Mapping Project. They they mapped the galaxy for, uh, and you, you see it on EDSM if you look, which is the Elite Dangerous Star Map. And yeah, if you went all the way around, you'd be going like 200,000 light years. I've not done it, I didn't go. But it was super popular. And uh, Commander Clark too, obviously did, because uh, this is their, uh, their memory of distant worlds this moment in front of a blue white star you spend quite a lot of time at stars i think watching you you feel return to levels that you have decided you need <laughs> anyway that i think is, is done now uh, thanks for watching i appreciate it <laughs>